actually I hope that there will no problems regarding this new airport. The world, um, um, in all around the world, we see cutthroat competition. I, and I'm not going to name names, but in the West, there are such airline companies, carriers uh, that are competing against Turkish Airlines, and they're keeping a very close eye on Turkish Airlines indeed. And in terms of destinations, um, Turkish Airlines ranks the, the first in the world in terms of the highest number of destinations flown. And I take this very seriously. Western uh, companies cannot achieve this. And our fleet is now um, nearing towards 400 aircraft and um, wide-bodied um, new vessels uh, will actually be purchased and uh, leased by Turkish Airlines. And um, Turkish Airlines needs um, a new airport, and this new airport really becomes Turkish Airlines. Just imagine, uh, there will be six runways once the airport is complete. And I'd like to draw your attention to the overall area. Um, six, 76 million squares is the overall area of this new airport and Atatürk Airport um, is around 12 million square meters and so that that means uh, the new airport is five or 5.5 5 um, times bigger than the than the Atatürk Airport so we will no longer need the Atatürk Airport once this project is complete and that, that's why we decided to take this step and turn Atatürk um, Airport airport into a national garden um, because being an environmentalist requires you to take some responsibilities. Atatürk Airport will hopefully um, turn into a national garden and it will be an exemplary project uh, on a global scale. Um, and this is going to surpass uh, Central Park actually. It's going to be three or four times bigger than Central Park. And there is no comparison with Hyde Park, obviously. It will be much bigger than Hyde Park. Um, and, um, but, but regarding the new airport, uh, 32,000 people have worked um, for this airport. Once it becomes fully operational, 100,000 people will work at this airport. In terms of creating jobs, this is important, and this is what drives the West crazy because they, they they wonder what these crazy Turks are doing. But they will get even crazier because uh, when the airport is operationalized on October 29th, um, 90 million passengers will um, be served by this airport per annum, but come 2023, the passenger potential will shoot up to um, 150 million. And this is something that really um, upsets them. Um, now, they will have to um, come to Istanbul uh, more, and Istanbul will become more of a hub, and this is going to uh, upset them further. These new uh, aircraft, um, they will have the um, opportunity to fly non-stop from one corner of the world to, 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 to the other.